On today's episode, we're going to discuss a game-changing metering as a service offering that Badger Meter just added to its solutions portfolio. The new offering is NetApp Enable, and it's specifically designed to address the project pain points and deployment hurdles that utilities can experience. Badger Meter is partnering with Utility Metering Solutions to bring our customers NetApp Enable to significantly expedite the advanced metering deployments and give utilities a simplified path to AMI upgrades. Joining me on the Smart Water Show today is Joey Mitchell. Joey is the Vice President at UMS, and we'll be discussing NetApp Enabled and exploring the deployment hurdles and how NetApp Enabled can guide you through to a successful project deployment and beyond. Let's dive into it. Joy, I want to welcome you to the Smart Water Show. I'm extremely excited to jump into this topic today. You are officially our first guest here on the show. So welcome. Well, thank you for having me, Maurice. Uh, you, you're doing great with this show, and and I am uh, I'm honored to be your first guest. It's well, always a pleasure thanks, to see you. Thanks for thanks for joining us. You know, let's let's start off. Just tell us about what NetAmp metering as a service is, and really, who is it for? Really, NetAmp. Uh, Metering as a service is really for any utility, uh, and it took us four years to really develop this this service offering. Okay, and I say it's for it's for any utility that needs help upgrading their entire metering program. Not only does it cover all the materials in terms of equipment and and the AMI transmitters, but it includes all the installation. Okay, the required integration with the the billing system. And we bring all the the, the funding uh, as part of the program. Okay. Uh, and then finally, you, you have a service provider that's with you for the duration of the services contract. So, yes. you know, all the long-term maintenance, follow-on training, meter testing, that's all included. I've personally been involved with many AMR, AMI projects over the, over the years. Let's talk a little bit about the complexity with the planning, the installation, as you mentioned, the integration of the system. What are some of those pitfalls that water utilities can fall in when deploying an AMI project? Well, let me start by saying that uh, if this project were easy, every utility would be automated right now. Right, right, right. 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 It is one of, this is one of those projects that it's easy to, to, to push off. Yes. And as you know, Maurice, the, the history has really been with, sort of the slow migration of technologies. Right. Like how many utilities have, have you uh, been been to that have two or three or four different versions right. you know, of, of meter reading technology, plus they're reading it manually. Right. And and you know, those different practices, you know, really, you know, frustrate operations. Uh, but but the the biggest pitfalls when you're doing a holistic upgrade I would say number one is data, right? Um, the quality of the data that is in the CIS system, most CIS systems that today are, it's not all that great. Okay. Uh, whether it's location or size information, I mean, you it, it just hasn't been well maintained. Is that what you're saying? That's right. It hasn't been, been maintained. Um, you know, you have, you mean, you can have a lot of data integrity issues. So this is a, a program or a project that every utility can take the opportunity to cleanse their CIS data. Okay. Um, and and that's that's one of the benefits. The other uh, place where these tend to go off the rail is the integration with the AMI right. system into. I, I've, I've seen CIS. that too. <laughs> right. Right. And and it's multipliers. It's you know you name it. Uh, just the the. the you know, truncation of zeros or adding too many zeros. Right. Um, you know, multipliers happening in the AMI system, also multipliers happening in CIS. All those things really need to be be worked out. Uh, and and honestly, that's that's probably the number one place where where these things can kind of fall off uh, the rails. Sometimes, do you feel that utilities are 
sort of short sighted. You know, they were they're, they're thinking about you know, especially when they're project planning, they're thinking about all these things that need to be done just to implement the system and sort of get to completion. But many times I don't see them focus their efforts and thoughts on the long term part. You know, these are twenty year systems need to be maintained and managed over the over the years. Hardware, software upgrades that need to be done. Does NetApp enabled help them in that area as well? You know, we used to sell meters to the meter shop. Right. We used to sell meters to utility directors. And now the benefits of these programs are going far beyond the meter shop. Yes. I mean, finance, engineering, you know, if you're an, an actual authority, some of this data can be used at the city level. And it, it, so the short side in this sometimes is, is you may have preference in terms of, of devices, right? You've used a particular brand of metering sure. and now there's so many different options. So you not only have the brand of meter, but you have the brand of the AMI system. And so a lot, oftentimes what I find is what kind of looks to be short-sighted is, is, is really not getting the, like the challenge of getting everybody on the same page right? and, and thinking about these programs holistically right. is, is probably one of the number one challenges. Okay. Uh, that was really why the program was created is to help solve these problems. Okay. Um, okay. And really, you know, that's why, why we call it a program. We look at everything holistically. Right. Um, I mentioned meter boxes, but there's lids. There's also things in which, um, you know, certain states have compliance and regulatory yeah. right. uh, issues like in Florida, backflow prevention is big. And so doing a project like this um, enables you to come into compliance right. with some of these regulations and they can be included in this program. OK, so we're so we're not not, not all thinking about, well, I got to do my backflow first and then I can think about AMI. Right. You're looking at the more holistic picture. We can do it all at the same time. You know, think about it today. Some of the projects that I've been involved with, I've talked to utilities for years about upgrading to AMR or AMI. One of the problems that they have is getting the capital budget approved, right? Especially in the, I mean, the times we're in today with COVID-19, budgets are being stretched. How does NetApp enable sort of help them get over that financial hurdle that they may be having? Great question. I would think about it like, uh, like this. A lot of utilities that, that you and I run into, some of them still collect trash themselves and some of them outsource it. Right. Right. And the, the utilities that have been able to outsource their trash service, all they're doing is, is you know, budgeting that in their OPEX. Okay. And they're paying a service provider to come and collect the trash. You know, right. Give the bins and whatnot. This takes metering into that same realm. Okay. So now instead of planning for a, a major upgrade, it now becomes a, a service that a service provider will provide the utility. And what's, re what's really good is that we've been able to work with our clients in terms of uh, when we start their first payment. Okay. Uh, so I had a client that we initiated. It took us nine months to put the program in. We timed it. Uh, the it was activated really three months before their budget. So so basically, they had nine months of benefit, and they paid their very first payment the very first month that they had it allocated okay. as a line item in their budget. A lot of utilities too. It, it enables you to kind of think about it differently. Uh, they're putting technology fees on the bills, right? Right. Offset the services contract. So there's a lot of cool things that uh, that utilities are able with this type type of structure and service okay. to kind of think about, and then really move those other capital expense expenses that that are really heavy water treatment, wastewater, yes, you know, and really move those those projects to the forefront. Okay, Joey. We've talked about a lot of things today. This has really been enlightening. I think many utilities are going to be intrigued by what they hear today. Uh, can't thank you enough for being here on the show today. Thank you for you know talking about this and really educating us on metering as a service. I really appreciate you being here today. Thank you so much, Maurice.